wild things, it's Cyprus. Welcome back to the wild. Today we're talking about the joy of styling comfy, fun socks from Tippy Toe. If you want useful and quirky styling ideas, and the realty on Tippy Toe's brand quality. Keep watching. This video is sponsored by Tippy Toe, but the opinions expressed are 100% my own. I will tell you what I like and what I don't, so you can evaluate for yourself. The truth is, I have a confession. Forgive me, Father Capitalism and Mother Joy, for I have sinned. It's been many years since my last pleasurable sock purchase. For most of my life, I have repeatedly purchased boring, plain socks off of the nearest rack. And then, only when my old socks had sprung holes. Today, I am happy to report that I have mended my ways. Now, I am wearing socks not merely as practical shoe liners. Now, I'm letting my socks make a fashion statement. Roses are red. Violets are blue. With these jiving socks, who wants to wear shoes? One of the things that socks are really good for is styling up or styling down a look. For instance, you can wear something a little toned down to the office if you need to be all business. Or, you can snazz it up and be the boss of your workday. Or sometimes a pair of nice, thick, warm socks says snuggle up on a rainy day. Or maybe curl up by the fire. Or maybe you just want comfortable hiking socks to also look good. For me, a really good novelty sock can help break the ice. For instance, for those of you who insist on wearing socks in sandals, I say go all the way and wear socks that inspire conversation. But mostly, I just love the way a good personalized sock can make you feel good by reinforcing who you are. You know, socks aren't just for your feet. A trend has resurged and girls are curling their hair with socks again. Well, I say, why not use socks that look good? Check out these curls. Dang. So yeah, these are the same curls at the end of the day. But I was outside in the rain earlier, and I'm sure otherwise they would not have relaxed so much. One of the great things about Tippy Toe's vast variety of sock styles is that there's enough of a range and enough different moods that they can appeal to all ages, even teenagers.
Dear Diary. Today sucked. Tyler said he overheard Mindy saying to Gretchen, that thing that we talked about yesterday, well, it's true. My life is ruined. Okay, we've established that Tippy Toe has a lot of fun styles and wide variety. But what's the scoop or the tea with this brand? Now, I've already been familiar with Tippy Toe for a while. Some of you may recall that I did a review of their fuzzy socks eight or nine months ago. They have been holding up very well. Repeated wears, repeated washes, they're still super comfy, super soft, and they really don't look half bad. This is a major accomplishment for something as delicate as a fuzzy sock. I'll put a link up here and in the description box below if you want to check out that video. So I already have a little bit of a working familiarity with the brand. I've been working with these crew socks for about two weeks now. So far, I'm very happy with them. But as I said, we're gonna get into the tea. So let's talk about the pros and cons. First of all, color saturation. As you can see, they're brightly colored. However, not as highly saturated as some fabrics I've seen. This is not the blackest dye job ever. My initial response was a little bit of disappointment, especially the blacks. It's not the blackest black. Like it's not black like my soul. However, as you can see, the blacks really are black. When I compared the black to other black fabrics and other black socks that I have, it's as black as my black cats. So the saturation of the color is actually quite competitive. So. The fit I have found to be quite normal. When I put them on, if I put them on all the way, as tight as feels snug, the heel ends up a little bit above my heel. But if I don't overstretch them out, they do fit. So typical of any sock I've ever bought. The density of the weave, I don't know if you can see that, when you stretch the sock out, the socks have a little bit of a see-through quality to them. If you have painted toenails, you will see little bits of the color coming through the sock. But the thinness of the sock varies depending on the style of the sock. So the Funky Fashion Crew socks are the thinnest. They're a summer sock and they're just not designed to have that tight of a weave. The boot style socks are a lot thicker. There's still a little bit of a see-through-ishness to them, especially if you stretch the sock a little, but I can't see my toenail polish through any of these. I've been working with a lot of these socks, a lot of different pairs. I am finding that the construction is very consistent. I get a random extra thread here and there, but it's not a loose thread, it's just an extra thread that didn't get trimmed. But I haven't found a single flaw in the construction of any of these socks yet. With the possible exception, I did have one pair that ended up being tight right at, right near the top of the, what is this part? The top of the sock? The collar? Anyway, the particular way that the pattern is sewn in here, the way that the threads are lined up, they only have so much give to them. However, the socks still fit comfortably. It would just be something to worry about if you have thicker, lower calves. For me, comfort, was 100% of what I would have hoped for from these socks. They feel like they have exactly the right amount of elastic to make them snug, but not uncomfortably tight. And importantly, I have not had any of them budge, shrink down on me. They all stay up where they're supposed to, unless I intentionally slouch them, in which case they stay put. I appreciate that. Also importantly, the toe seam is not perceptible to my toes. That could be really annoying. 
For me, there are a few things more irritating than when the edge of the seam gets stuck on the knuckle of your toe in your shoe and you have to take your whole shoe off and readjust it and... So, I haven't noticed that yet. Durability. Honestly, it is too soon to tell. I've only been working with these socks for a couple of weeks. However, as a person who has used socks and worn socks for all my life, the construction seems perfectly legit. I don't see any reason to think that these socks would wear out any faster than a normal, decent quality sock. I don't see anything to tip me off to any potential problems. The Fashion Socks are a polyester spandex blend, and they do feel just a little bit like nylon. They're very comfortable, but if you're sensitive to the feeling of synthetic fabrics, it might be a little bit of a turnoff. However, I prefer synthetic fabrics, so it's really not an issue for me. Some of the boot socks are a wool and synthetic blend, and some are 50% cotton and the rest synthetic blend. I don't think wool and cotton are as comfortable as the synthetic fabrics. Whether or not the fabric blend of the socks is a pro or a con really depends on your tastes. Overall impression, obviously I really like them, and I think that they're a decent quality sock. However, where tippy toe really shines, and what really tippy toes the scale <laughs> is price. Just to break this down, the Fashion and Crew socks, the thinner one with all the fun prints, run anywhere from $1.33 to $2 a pair. The warmer Crew socks are closer to $2.83 a pair, and the boot socks are anywhere from $2.33 a pair to $3.16 a pair US dollars. Basically what I'm saying is the quality of the socks is really good for that price point. Which means you can get a whole bunch of really fun socks that look really cool without breaking the bank. <laughs> it is packed. And when it comes to fashion, of course, it's the variety. It's the choices. Whoever's in charge of designing these socks as far as color patterns, there you go, folks. That's my review of Tippy Toe's copious crew sock selection. And a few of my theories and preferences for crew sock styling. And a big thank you to Tippy Toe for reaching out to me and sponsoring this video. Product links are in the description box below. These are not affiliate links, but they will get you directly to the socks. For those of you interested in choices, there will be a video montage showcasing the different varieties that I did not have time and space to show you in the making of this film. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And please, for the sake of joy in your life, keep your socks wild! <laughs> Thanks, wild ones. I'll see you in the next video. I am not even sure where to go from here. There are so many socks. Rawr. Rawr. A lot of socks. <laughs> this is so many socks.